Zirfoss back to the infield, unable to go green as the feature starts at Volusia Speedway Park. Into turn one, Sheldon Hutchell down low, Buddy Copeboy to the lead, and Tony Schatz follows him into the second spot. Sheldon Hutchell third as they reach the end of the back straightaway. Side by side for four to the inside comes the 41 of Carson Macedo with Giovanni Celsi in fifth as lap one goes in the books. Side by side for six, Landon Crawley and David Gravel going at it. Crawley high on the speedway, has the position. Celsi now looks to the inside of Macedo, can't make the move for fourth entering turn three. Macedo pulls away and now David Gravel closes in on Celsi. Donnie Schatz now back within a half a second of leader Buddy Copoy. Copoy still unable to get by Danny Sams. Sams runs the bottom in three and four. Copoy enters high, cuts down to the middle of the speedway, and Donnie Schatz now right there to fight for the lead into turn one. 13 laps down, 12 to go, cross flags for the Roth Enterprises 83. Oh, Buddy Copoy shreds a tire going into one, up into the wall, the caution flag waves. And you can see that left rear just absolutely explode. Donnie Schatz doing a good job to avoid the spinning Buddy Kofoid. Back under green flag conditions. Sheldon Hodge, shield to the inside of the leader. Can't get the top spot in turn two. Giovanni Selzy up to third. Challenge low by the 41 of Carson Macedo. They go side by side, nearly get together there. Macedo moves back into the third spot. Selzy in fourth and David Gravel running fifth. Jacob Allen battling with Corey Day. Day getting around Allen to move up into the seventh spot. Jacob Allen looks back to the inside in three and four. Allen's teammate Logan Schuhart a run on the top. Schuhart and Allen nearly get together coming out of turn four. Corey Eliasson, part of that mix as well in car number eight. Logan Schuhart looks to the inside, entering turn three. A battle for the eighth position between shark racing teammates, Jacob Allen and Logan Schuhart. Schuhart has the spot as they cross the start finish line. Caution! Car up against the wall in turn one. Jacob Allen in the 1A, and he has exploded a left rear tire as well. 22 laps complete, and we take a look at the Dirt Vision replay and see the left rear tire exploding on the 1A just as it did on the 83. Back to green flag conditions. At the cone, David Gravel dives to the inside. Giovanni Selzy up over the cushion. Gravel will take fourth. Selzy in fifth, and now Corey Day moving to the inside of Selzy side by side as they race into three and four. Two to go for leader Donnie Schatz. Back straight away for the final time. For the 500th time in his storied career, Donnie Schatz is a sprint car winner and comes with the World of Outlaws of Volusia Speedway Park. Sheldon Hodgson second, Carson Macedo third, David Gravel fourth, and Giovanni Selzy in fifth. He'll take the VP Fuels checkered flag up top to celebrate a win in the Bike Week Jamboree at Volusia Speedway Park. I wasn't really worried about what was behind me. I had, as long as I uh, could focus on out in front of me and do what I was doing, uh, we were going to be all right. I mean, you know somebody's going to maybe try the slider, but uh, there ain't anything you can do about what, what other people are doing. So, you know, I don't know what he, he must have spun his tires on the start. Man, we got a hell of a run there. Um, went right to second, and uh, the pace there was, I don't know that we, I can remember ever running a car that hard that long. It was brutal. It's, it's hard on tires. It's hard on wheel it's hard on everything but um you know kind of capitalized on the misfortune of the 83 but we were getting to the point where we were having a lot of wheel spin and when your right sides are up against something you know the left side's the one that spins and that's generally where a problem happens and obviously that's what happened there so we capitalize on that but uh hats off to the guys they just uh digging and digging and digging um neil scuba todd dawson they're just uh they're, they're motivated they're going at it and uh it's pretty hard to do with the results we've had the last several years, but uh, we're here. Uh, we got a win in Florida. That was big. Uh, we had solid results when we were here before. We got to start near the front, and we just capitalized on what we could tonight. So uh, hats off to everybody on this team. I don't know what you can say. It's a great night. There's a lot of people here, and, um, man, it was a pretty, pretty intense race. 500 career wins in a sprint car for Donnie Schatz. What's that mean to you? I really don't want to think about it. Um, you know, I, I feel like I got a lot of years left in me. I got a lot of good racing left in me because I still love to race, and I think that's the, the important part. So numbers are numbers. Uh, it's stuff that, uh, 
I'm going to probably uh, roll over to Ske Steve Kinzer's bus someday when we're sitting here at Volusia watching uh, our kids or our kids' kids, who knows, and uh, we'll have talks about it. But um, for now, it's, ju it's just a number that you, you don't even want to want to think about. Um, you know, I've been very fortunate to, to race with a lot of great people and have great partners behind us, you know, Ford, CarQuest, uh, Sage Fruit, you know, Jason and Tiff from Absolute Automation. We've had a lot of great partners uh, over the years, Mike Curb. So um, that, that, that's what makes this uh, fun for me is all the relationships we've built, uh, all the success we've had together, and uh, we continue to do that. So uh, one, one day at a time, and we'll just have to make the best of it. Well, I, I would hope that uh, 28 years of experience might give you a little bit of advantage in that department. But, um, you know, I think we're, uh, it, it boils, it's not me. It, it has nothing to do with any driver uh, in this pit area. It's about these teams and it's about these car owners and the people that make them go around there. You know, they're the ones that, uh, that make this go and you fans. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, what we get to do is, is all a byproduct of, these, of the fans being here, watching at home on Dirt Vision. And uh, sometimes I think people lose sight of that, but um, we get you know got great paying races and uh, we were able to capitalize on one tonight. I say it all the time. The guy who wins is always happy. The guy who runs second, well, he feels okay, but the rest of the guys uh, are, are trying to get there and that's us most days too. So it's uh, each person their own and you take your turns, I guess, and do the best you can. For live coverage of every World of Outlaws event and for extended on-demand race content, visit dirtvision.com. For full race results, features, and series news, visit worldofoutlaws.com.